Welcome to Beer Stories from Beer Store Brewhouse. If you want to start brewing your own beer, you should listen to these five tips. So if you want to start brewing your own beer, listen to these five tips. Of course you should start brewing your own beer. It's a wonderful hobby. It's not that hard. Uh, it can be really hard and scientific, um, but it can also be really easy and yeah and loose. But, uh, but these five tips will actually get you to have more fun brewing and to brew better beer fast. Um, Number one, start with extract kits. That's really, really easy. And if the brewing is something that you like and, and you also, uh, and you won't get tired of the cleaning because there's a lot of cleaning, half of it is cleaning. Um, if you like brewing, you can endure the cleaning. You should move over to all grain brewing fast. All grain brewing means that you use real malts instead of extract. And uh, you can just be way more creative and you'll get a better understanding of the flavors in beers by using all grains. So uh, yeah, start doing that as fast as you can. Number two, you have to have some kind of control over temperature. If, you, uh, if the yeast can handle the temperature it's placed in, uh, it's fermenting in, it will create a lot of off flavors. Um, lager yeast, most of them have to, have to ferment really low at uh, 11, 12 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, or right somewhere where that is in Fahrenheit. Um, Nova lager can go higher, uh, 34, 70 can go higher as well. But yeah, but most of them have to ferment at low temperature. Uh, ale yeast, they can take they can handle up to 22, 24 degrees uh, Celsius, Fahrenheit somewhere here. Um, but even though if you place that in a room that's 22 degrees Celsius, the yeast can actually heat up the wort or the beer so much that it will create off flavor. So the beer can actually be 28 degrees Celsius um, and that will create off flavors. So you have to have some kind of temper control temperature control and if you don't you should use uh, Kvike yeast. Kvike is a Norwegian uh, farmhouse yeast that can handle up to uh, 35 degrees Celsius um, or 40 degrees Celsius so that's no problem. So use that instead. So number three, buy kits. It's just super easy to get started. You will get great beers right out of the get-go and when you have an understanding of what the different parts or the different ingredients is in the beer gives flavor wise you will be yeah you'll be better suited for making your own recipes and playing around with it so uh, do that so number four get a steel fermenter you can start with plastic um, but plastic is really hard to clean they can you can make small scratches in the plastic that will be almost impossible to clean. And then you risk inf infections. The plastic can also uh, absorb some uh, flavors that will translate into your beer. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a very bad thing. I actually have one plastic fermenter in my basement that I brewed one licorice stout in, only used once. And the whole room it is is, is placed in uh, smells like that licorice stout, so that's not good. So get a steel fermenter as soon as possible. Number five, get it, get an all brew system, some kind of uh, brew in a bag, all yeah, all in one system. It's just way easier. You have one system, you have super tight temperature control. It's just way easier than you using a gas or just a stove and yeah. Get an all grain, uh, all in one brew system. So that was it. Start brewing. Just uh, just do it. Uh, that was five tips for starting brewing. 
And um, if you want to learn more about the yeast, there'll be a video somewhere here where you can uh, learn more about yeast and also follow the channel. I got a lot of instructional movies uh, with brewing and homebrewing. So uh, yeah, do that. Also write down in the comments what's, what your uh, experience is. Have a happy brewing out there.